it's the first run set up. Ready to go. I've got the um, the kettle charged with about 17 litres of uh, just some uh, sugar wash, uh, somewhere around 12 ABV. So yeah, we've got it uh, all filled up, ready to go, fire it up. It's a slow, very slow heat up at the moment, just to uh, see, how, see how the new girl runs, basically, see what kind of tune we get out of her. Got the um, 25 litre container there in the sink. And uh, like I say, I'm going to see how it goes with just 25 litres running through the uh, condenser to cool it all. Um, and see how warm it gets. I mean, what I've also done there is, you can just see um, that hose there coming out to the tap, going in there, filling it up, and then obviously with the hot water going back, or the warm water going back in that part there, if I just turn that hose on, then the water will come over and hopefully cool that. If not, um, I'll just stick in some ice packs into it and see how we get on. There we go. So not much more to see at the moment, but yeah, she's actually up and running with a fully charged product. So let's see what we get out of it. Okay. <laughs> So here we have all the product that's come out of the very first run uh, from my new reflux still with the bubble plates in it. Um, all the jam jars are obviously old pickling jam jars, uh, but it's coming quite handy. So what I've ended up with is a seven, eight, nine, nine jam jars, all with roughly 250 mil in. Um, they have got, it was quite rock steady on the AVV, I have to say. I obviously don't check the, the four shots at the beginning. Um, but after I took off uh, the calculated amounts, um, they were all, they were all of these, 93% ABV. Absolutely rock solid throughout the lot. And I think number eight um, went down to about 90 uh, ABV, if memory serves me right. And then the last one, um, I, I pretty much knew we were in details or starting to because with the with the reflux, the, the almost like a graph, it seems to go really high ABV and then drop like a stone, and that's exactly what that one started to do. Um, I was running out of time, so I didn't measure it. I just uh, boshed in a bit into that last jam jar because I knew I wasn't going to use it anyway. So yeah, what we're going to do quickly um, is have a quick sniff test. Yeah, I'm not going to go anywhere near that. If that that is absolutely grotesque, uh, the four shots. If you ever say, uh, yeah, clean your nostrils out, that's going to do it. That's, I'm not even going to contemplate that. So going on to 
the first, yeah, first jam jar, let's have a see. Phew. Yeah, that's definitely got, I think I've read somewhere on the internet, was it, um, uh, heads have the smell of like wet cardboard. I mean, that would sum that up perfectly. That one, yeah, hmm, that's, that's not the nicest of smells. Yeah, okay, number two's got the same, but thankfully, not as much. I don't know if I use that as a product though. Um, I don't think I'll blend that in, but that's yeah, that has definitely got a hint so far. Number three. Yeah, apart from obviously the strong smelling alcohol, there's just a slight hint. I mean, you can literally tell from between one, two, and three how less of the heads must be in those. You can, that's, I'm quite surprised at how quite defined those three are. Uh, let's go number four. Let's see what this is. Mm hmm. Oh, that smells a lot better than, yeah. Oh, that's more like it. I think there is just a. Hmm, there might be just a slight, ever so slight hint of possible uh, heads in number four, but, but then again, <clears throat> might still be uh, stuck up the nose. Number five, let's see if we get out of five. Oh, yes. That's good stuff. That's lovely. Right, number six. Go number six. Oh. Yeah, Crikey, that's strong. That, oh. But um, yeah, there's obviously because it's basically a neutral spirit, you shouldn't be getting any uh, off flavors or smells coming off any aromas. So yeah, that's that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Mm, okay, yeah, there is something different in that one. There is something different in that one, but then. If you look at it, I've actually, weirdly enough, colour coded them by accident. Four shots at the beginning, possible heads, possible hearts, possible tails. So, <laughs> some crow never works out like that, does it? There's number eight. This one should be different or not? Uh, mm, okay, yeah, that's, that's not. That's not bad. Let's go back to seven quickly. Yeah, those, there's definitely something different. In those two, I, I, yeah, definitely. Uh, just because it's a, a vodka, you wouldn't think you'd get particularly um, any different aromas coming through, because you'd think it'd just be a normal base spirit. But there we go. This, yeah, it's definitely nice. This end one was obviously the uh, the last of the dregs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, that's that's horrible. That is, I don't know. That's like a. A damp dog's bed almost, that is. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm not gonna. Oh. Oh. Right, but there we go, and that's all been um, taken off and left overnight uh, with, the, with the lids just very loosely on, not sealed up, uh, just to let them settle down a touch before you. Before you. Um, I thought I'd give them a quick sniffing anyway. So there we go, I'm quite happy with that. It's a nice, uh, nice little batch there to do with whatever I like. So yeah.